Hello and welcome to the 14 tutorial on jQuery basic series and we're going to be looking at the set functionality within jQuery. If you haven't done tutorial 2 there will be a link in the description to a source code because that's what we're going to be using as the base source code or you can just implement it directly into your own project. Well the set functionality within jQuery allows you to set the text, the HTML or the value of um, an element we're going to be looking at setting text and setting HTML so we're just going to go ahead and open up our project in a text editor need to also open up the jQuery file so what we're going to do is add a button close the button tag no button button just type in text button for the button, add a div tag. I'm just going to put hello for that. And in our jQuery ready function, what we're going to do is dollar, not that, dollar, ugh. there we go, pressing the wrong key. And hash, I mean, no button. Click and function, and then in here we're going to do dollar bracket select, and the select will be div. We're going to do dot text. Hello world. So this will, when the button is clicked, you'll change this text to hello world. Actually, we'll make this entirely different. We'll put I am human. Save it. Open this up in a web browser. Then we've got the button, we've got the div, we click it. And now it says I am human inside. Now, what we're going to do is just copy and paste this. Actually, we don't even need to copy and paste. We can just copy and paste this line comment this out and we're going to affect the html now so we're going to do html the difference with the html is we can actually add html within inside it so what we can do is put a b tag which is bold I prefer not to use the b tag I prefer to use css style but this is just an easy example show you where you can so you can add div within a div if you wanted to or add your own elements um, I'm going to open it up first before I go on Chrome. And when I click it, as you can see, it's put the text I am human, but it's also put it in box. If I inspect element, it's got a B tag in there. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at how to add elements. If you if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support us on our The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.